Hey everybody, it's Mario from Officially Loomed, and today I am here with the Centicle Bracelet by Lumineer on Instagram. So, Loom and then I-N-E-A-R. Their link is in the description, and their name should be spelled right here. So, this is a really cool bracelet. You can make it on the Monster Tail or the Rainbow Loom. Today we're making the Monster Tail tutorial, and enjoy, all right? In order to make this bracelet, you're gonna need a monster tail. You need a few colors, so I'm just going to be using these three colors right here. And then, you, um, and then along with those, you will also need a C-clip and a hook as well. I'll be using the Rainbow Loom Metal Tipped Upgrade Kit Hook. To start your band placement, you want to start with your perimeter collar. I'm using gray. You just want to place it onto those two pegs, push it down, and then place another one onto these two pegs, and then push it down. Now what we're going to do is grab our hook, and you want to grab this side of the band, and you just want to grab it go onto the side of this and then just twist it onto the peg so it looks like that you want to go on the other side and do the same thing so grab this side of the band then go like that and twist it onto the peg like that so now we have basically two twisted triangles on the pegs. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab um, another color. And by the way, I made a mistake. You're actually going to need four colors, not three. So I will just add in some metallic silver, metallic blue, sorry, whatever it is, <laughs> okay, into the color pattern. I'm just going to grab um, an X color. So the X color is basically going to be this frilly. So the turquoise here and the jelly purple here. So we just want to grab it and go across like that on one side. And then go across again on the other side. Okay. Like that. Then what we're going to do is you want to grab your hook and we're going to start hooking. Whenever there's two layers on these four pegs right here, you are always going to bring the bottom band over no matter what it is. So you're just going to bring this over right here. Go to this peg and just bring it over. And remember, we're not going inside the band. You want to bring from the outside and just bring it over and then bring the other one and bring it over like that so now we're gonna lay our fishtail middle band sorry if my dishwasher goes off like a million times in this video just saying right now and um, anyways what we're gonna do now is lay our fishtail band so we're just gonna grab your fishtail color there's two of them I'm using electric blue and metallic blue you just wanna place it normally in the middle like that. So just leave it there for now. Now what we're going to do is place another perimeter band. So this time just place it in a rec regular rectangle shape or triangle shape, I'm sorry. Like that. We're going to ignore the sides for now. We want it to get to a fish tail so we can inverted fish tail it. But since there's two sides right here, you always just want to pull over the bottom bands like that then after that we're going to add another X so so you want to grab the same colored X band oops so you want to grab the same colored X band and just place it on these two pegs 
and then place it on these two pegs. And as I was saying, you always want to make sure that there isn't ever two X's that can, you know, touch each other. There should always be a fish chill band in the middle. Now, since there's two layers right here, you want to bring over the bottom layer from all four sides. Okay, then what you're going to do is we're going to place another triangle band right here and another one right here. Okay, now we're going to place a fishtail band across like that. So, we still are, we're still waiting for three layers here, but here there's two layers, so you just want to bring the four sides over. And on the sides there's now three layers. So, whenever there's three layers on your um, outsides, what you want to do is you always want to just inverted fishtail it. So, okay. They're spaced out now so you can see. You want to go under the first band, inside the middle band, grab the bottom band and pull it over. Then go to the other one. And we're going to do the same thing. So you want to go under this top band, inside the middle band, grab the bottom band and just pull it over. Sorry, I know that dishwasher is really annoying. Okay, so now once we did that, you're going to place another X. Like that. There's two layers, so bring them all over. And now, bring your fish tail band and put it on. And of course, you can also put on your triangle band. Notice how I'm not really doing the, that those two steps in order, considering it doesn't really matter whether you do it in order or not, just as long as they get onto the loom. So, now, um, I'm just going to follow in order so it can be easier for you guys. So just bring over the layer on these four sides. This is where the sequence starts. So, um, for, okay, so when you have two layers on these four sides, you always just want to bring over the bottom band. When there's three layers on this side, you just want to bring over the bottom band. When there's three layers on these two sides, you just want to invert a inverted fishtail stitch. So, there's three layers on here, so we're just going to fishtail it. So bring the bottom band over. And there's three sides here, so an in inverted fishtail it. And now, place another X. That's our band placement pattern. Band placement pattern is X first, then fish gel band, then triangles. Okay. Then after that, you get the bottom two bands. I mean, sorry, the bottom band, and just pull them over. And now the next rule of band placement is first the fishtail and then the triangles. Like that. So you're just going to bring over these bottom layers 
And then you want to bring over the bottom layer here and just fishtail it. Then right here on the sides, just inverted fishtail it. Okay. So repeat. Put on your X. Bring over the bottom layer. Then place the fishtail bands and the triangle bands. And bring over the bottom layer on the four sides. Then bring over the fishtail. So bring the bottom layer over. And then on the outside, just inverted fishtail stitch this. Okay. You're just gonna repeat the pattern. I think it's really simple once you get the hang of it. Not really gonna go into detail now since this is really, um, I think we have the pattern down by now. Okay, so since I'm making this for a toddler, um, this is a little shorter, as you can see, but it's going to fit Okay, the kid's so wrist. So we're just going to keep going. Uh, hopefully he'll like it. Until, <laughs> all right, it gets so anyways, the that we want. now we're going, we're at the we length we want, as you can see. We're going to clip now. Through. Basically, it's really we easy. That we want, so we First, what we want to do is we and just want to grab another perimeter color band. band. And what we're going to do, and by the way, you want to make sure that there's grays on top of here. So if there is um, like an X color on like right here, you want to place a gray and then bring it over so that there will be grays on these three pegs and there are only going to be the fish chill bands left. So what we're going to do is you just want to grab another band, place it on there, grab the two bands here and pull them over. And grab these two bands and pull them over like that and as you can see it's really clean clipping so you know nothing really messy I guess so once you did that you're gonna bring this bottom one over and this bottom one over right here so now there is only there's only one layer on each peg. You're gonna bring this layer and you just wanna pull it over here. Then bring this layer and pull it over here. Get this one, 
pull it down. This one, sorry if I hit my camera so much, pull it down. This one, pull it down. Okay, like that. Then what we're going to do is you want to get this one side and move it over to this peg. This one side and move it to the other peg. So there we go. Now we're going to get the same perimeter color band. Cap it on your hook. And you're going to put it on one peg. And then go around the middle peg and go onto that peg like that. So then bring over all these bands and then bring over all of these bands. Sorry, I just hit my camera so much. Okay, now once we did that, Bring these two sides and just bring them over to the center peg. And then get these two sides and bring them over to the center peg. Now we're just going to clip it. So grab your C clip and just slide it upwards into the bands like that. And you just want to take it off like that. So there's the centicle bracelet. All right, now for the other side to clip it, you want to locate some bands first. So this is really easy like usual. All you want to do is you just want to grab all the gray bands here. So this one, look on the other side and you will find the other one. Like that. So now you have two. Now go on this side and find this one. And then look on the other side of that. And you should find this one right here. Sorry, this is hard to see. But basically, just get all the gray bands. And you should have about four on your hook. Get another perimeter color band and cap it on. Like that. And pull it through those four bands. Like that. And put it on your hook. I like to put it back on the monster tail. And you know just to make it easier for clipping. Just grab your C-clip and clip it. There we go. Alright, this is a short bracelet, but again, it's just for a toddler. Alright, his wrists really aren't, you know, my wrist size, so... I really like this bracelet. I hope you guys like it too. Hope you liked the tutorial. If you did, make sure to give it a big like. Um, it helps a lot. A huge lot. Okay. And you can also subscribe if you like this video. Check out my Instagram. Link is in the description. I also sell bracelets and t-shirts. Link is also in the description. And please check out Lumineer. Um, their profile is also in the description as well. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you all next video.